Good day and welcome back to the channel. And today I am on my way out to my local dealership, Prairie Harley Davidson, out in Emerald Park, Saskatchewan. And uh, today I'm going to get a little tune on the bike and I'm going to kind of take you guys through uh, my stage one setup. But of course, before we do that, we need to look at a viewer bike. This is terrible Tommy H's 1996 Fat Boy. Or is it? Have a look at those spoked wheels. Tom says that this bike started life as a Heritage Softail Special, but after some additions, it became more of a fat boy than a Heritage. Uh, Tom bought this bike new and has 100,000 miles on it, which is impressive as it looks very clean for its age. It has Cycles Shack 2 into 2 straight pipes, so this guy is loud. A K&N air, air filter, alloy art strut mounted rear turn signals and it's been lowered two or so inches with progressive suspension so thanks for sending this in tom and if anyone else would like their bike put up on the channel send me a pic and i'll get it up uh, my email address is in the description below to this video so i guess we should quickly go over what a stage one upgrade actually is I'm sure most, if not everyone watching this channel, knows what a stage one is. Basically, you get a high flow air cleaner setup, a less restrictive exhaust system, and a tune. Um, it's an easy way to make a little more power by allowing the engine to move more air in and out, and of course, move more fuel. Harley usually says that you can get a 10% increase in performance. Now, is that correct? I would say yes and no. It really um, depends on the setup that you get. Um, you could get more, you could get less. Um, it really all depends. Like a full exhaust system is going to be better than just slip-ons. A heavy breather air cleaner is going to be better than just switching out your air filter. And then there's the tuner. The Screaming Eagle is not the best out there as Harley is forced to adhere to emissions regulations that will restrict your performance. And unfortunately, some other manufacturers are now being forced to do the same. And I have my own experience with different setups. Uh, my best was probably on my 2012 Road King. Uh, I had a heavy breather air cleaner and Samson four inch slash cut slip-ons with the baffles removed. And at the time, Harley had what they called their Screamin' Eagle Super Tuner Pro. It was an orange tuner that didn't have the restrictions currently imposed um, by the EPA on Harley. Uh, I had the dealership actually dyno tune that bike and it ended up increasing both torque and horsepower by a little over 10%, probably about 12 or so. And I wish I would have kept the dyno sheets to show the evidence, but Unfortunately, they went with the bike when I sold it. So I usually put a stage one on my bikes, not always for performance, but just to let the engine breathe a little better. I'm also not going to go too crazy with it either, as I don't need a lot more power. Now, the 2024 Fat Boy that I have comes with the ventilator air cleaner kit stock, so there is no need to buy a complete air cleaner setup. Um, it's an open housing that will already provide uh, excellent air movement. Uh, now having that already, all I really need is a high flow filter element. And Harley sells a K&N high flow replacement filter for around a hundred bucks. Uh, so I'm just replacing the stock filter with one of those. Uh, luckily I saved my K&N filter from my last fat boy, my 2021. Um, so I just had to clean it oil it and install it it's a cheap way to get more airflow without spending a lot more money on a complete air cleaner setup and of course i had to add the screaming eagle medallion just for a little flare now as for the pipes i'm just going with slip-ons opposed to the complete exhaust system that i had on my lowrider s uh, if someone was looking for max performance, I would suggest a two into one exhaust. Uh, it's one of the best for producing power and it does sound badass. 
Of course, replacing the full exhaust is going to cost you more. That is one reason folks like me go with slip-ons more often than not. I'm just looking for better sound and a tiny bump in power. So on this bike, I have the Tab Performance slip-ons with uh, the zombie baffles. Uh, it sounds way better and is way less restrictive. And if you're interested in knowing what these pipes sound like, I did an install video a few weeks ago. You can look it up if you're interested. Uh, these slip-ons do not come with a catalytic converter in them like the stock mufflers have. That is another thing that's been pushed on us by the fine folks at the Environmental Protection Agency. As for a tuner, I'm kind of stuck with the Screaming Eagle Pro Street tuner. And the reason is that this bike is under warranty. If I want to make sure that it stays that way, I have to use the Harley brand. And if I had my way, I would go with something different because there are better tuners out there, uh, at least until the environmental people get a hold of them as well. Now, I've used Scream and Eagle tuners in the past, but this one is a little bit different. This is a very small tuner that plugs directly into the bike's data port. If you're wondering where that is, on your soft tail, it's on the left-hand side, underneath the electrical cover, directly below your seat. The thing that makes this different from the others I've used is that you can now tune your bike through Bluetooth, through a mobile app on your phone. It will allow you to adjust parameters or just upload the latest calibrations. It comes with other features as well. You can use Smart Tune Live and track engine data. It then stores this data and allows you to evaluate things such as air fuel ratio, engine temperature, throttle speed, etc. Uh, you can also adjust your spark advance. Now there's also a cable kit you can buy so you can hook the tuner up to your laptop to download data or fine tune your calibrations. And I'm pretty interested to see how this works and maybe if I get proficient enough uh, I could make a video on navigating through the system just to see how it actually works. But that's the plan for the stage one. Nothing too crazy. Uh, I'm not expecting much of a performance boost. On the last Fat Boy I had, um, I had a stage one setup like this and it got me up to speed a little quicker and it gave me a slightly snappier throttle response. Uh, but that's about it. Um, and if anyone is interested in a setup something like I have, I will put the part numbers in the description to this video. Uh, but we'll see what happens after I play with it a little. So I'm now at the dealership. So I'm going to let you guys go for today. And I say ride them if you can. And we will see you in the next one.